man, I used to play the trap spot Propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops The right lighting, you never catch me biting Say you make it look so real, well you pose the biggest fighting I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour Replicate epic scenes from the Creed War Compose pieces with artists that span the globe Here's some foes fighting in the picture-perfect pose Insert the comic book, cut out, to shoot a show Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me I made nerds cool, cooler like my man Zobie Took the everyday display, gave it a spark Welcome to articulated comic book art So, starting off the week right I ran up in True yesterday in Times Square Picked up a Cobra Trooper And I also got a Renegade Storm Shadow Which has been pretty hard to find at retail I've seen this figure go for... 60 even 80 bucks sometimes online the average price right now that is going for online is maybe like 30 40 dollars um so i was happy to get that and then not only did i see one but i saw two i sat there and searched through everything and i was able to grab two of them so feeling good about that i'm gonna keep one and i'm gonna actually throw one in the fsp i had this gift card from junior that i used so that was 25 bucks plus i had a 10 dollar off card for spending 50 so I basically really didn't spend any money. I spent like eight bucks when it all came down to everything. I got this two for mindless spot tube and regular retail price for legends in New York is twenty two ninety nine. But again, I had that ten dollar off card. So I think I'm only gonna charge him eighteen or nineteen and ship it loose for him. And then basically I got my one storm shadow and the Cobra Trooper for eight bucks at the at the end of all of that. So I don't mind throwing in the Storm Shadow and the FSP. And uh, that was a pretty good day, small haul for the day. I don't know why some people say they don't like this Loki. I think he's a dope figure. Looks old, but I mean, and this look that Loki has has only been in the comics maybe like a couple of times. I know people would have preferred a more classic look, I guess, but I think he's a dope, dope character, or well, a dope figure, rather. Uh, Back. Alright, so this was a package from my man iLegends. Hooked up some um, figures here for the FSP. Got the Crossbone from the, I guess that was from the Cap series. Uh, Apocalypse, which is a real nice Marvel Universe figure. This Lizard, I guess, is from that Spider-Man line. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Electro, Marvel Universe. And X23. So I'm gonna add all of these into the FSP. And big thanks to my man I Legends. And I want to see you post some more videos, son. Get out there, and make some videos, man. Good looking though. Appreciate the uh, donation for the FSP, brother. So I cracked open the Storm Shadow. Really, really dope figure, man. I'm always impressed by these uh, GI Joe figures. I've said this before, but I think this is the best three and three quarter inch line. Marvel Universe could be the best if they just. Uh, would up their their paint apps just a little bit more. I mean, they've got way way better, no question about that. And if they would give you more accessories, like look at all the stuff this guy comes with. Both of those swords are removable. The backpack, you could take it apart. Arrow. Then he's got the extra head, the belt, and the sash, so you could change them to the Renegade style. This is like the classic Storm Shadow. He's got a bow, the fan, throwing stars. I forgot what those other little two things are called. The throwing daggers, the size, the uh, nunchucks, and I don't know what that other last little piece right there is, but mad stuff. All right, so it took for Pharaoh Black and the Facebook group to make me realize that I was had it wrong. And I'm an 80s baby, man. Like, I, the G.I. Joe was one of the first uh, figures that I collected. I don't know why I was thinking that the red was the classic version but it's supposed to be the black sash with this head for the classic version and then the, the red sash with the other head for the um, renegades version and I just had it all wrong but now I got it thanks then
Just messing around with some cutouts. Actually sat down earlier today, had some time and cut up a bunch of joints. Now just scrolling through them and setting up some simple scenes. Just messing around. It's all freestanding. Doc Ock. Seriously underrated figure. This is a really dope Marvel Legend, man. A lot of people, I don't see a lot of people use him that much. I've I seen him pop up recently in the uh, Facebook group and a few pictures and stuff. My man Ian and Slangs and a couple of people use them, but um, I, I really mess around with him because I only got one and he's in my Spider Man villains uh, display on my street level villains display. So I barely mess around with him. I would love to get another one of these, but. He's a dope, dope figure, man. Real dope. If you don't got one of these guys, you should you should definitely hunt him down. So somebody had posed the question of what do you like doing more displaying or taking I don't pictures? Think I ever like it totally more, but it but taking pictures is so much fun and just playing with angles and learning and like you know, you, you do gotta work I guess just as hard for a picture. If I was to like snap this here, it's not really in focus here, but you see all I had to go through to get these angles and make it look like he's transforming and knocking through the scrolls here. But you'll see how on a picture it just looks so clean. I'll show you. What's in the fuck you Baggage. So the first package was my docking head coming back to me. You remember at the end of last week's episode, I said that I had sent it out to get uh, casted. And it was uh, Rick Coronel and the Facebook group. I guess that's how you pronounce his last name. One of his buddies was actually doing the cast. So I sent it directly to his guy and, uh, and he did the cast and he sent the head back and he actually sent me an extra one. And originally it was a little mix up with that and I wasn't too happy with the way that it was getting handled. I don't know if it was because it was uh, the three of us and it was a middleman and maybe Rick's guy didn't know what was going on but um, originally the guy wanted to charge me to send me the extra cast and I wasn't having that. So I'm like, you know what, forget it man, I'm not paying. But the guy actually still sent me the extra one anyway so that was cool. Uh, so that was the first small package. And then the second package was from my man Stephen M in the Facebook group. He sent the Marvel Universe Cyclops <clears throat> for the uh, for the FSP. He actually told me I could keep one of them, but I actually already have uh, one of these figures. So I guess I'll probably just put them both in the FSP. And he also sent me the uh, right arm, I believe it is. Yeah, no, the left arm. I'm sorry, the left arm for Dark Side. So I just need one more part to complete Dark Side. So big thanks to my man Stephen. Appreciate that, bro. So there's Dark Side almost complete. Anybody got that uh, left leg? Hit me up, let me know. Back. So that package was from my man Farrell Black. Hooked me up with the mojo up a half. The mojo tits out. <laughs> But uh, I just, uh, he was uh, trading this or selling it or whatever. I just grabbed it to throw it in the FSP because there's a, a, a Luke Cage with a mojo part in there. You know, I try to piece together some nice packages or whatever and get people started on some builder figures. I think mojo builder figures are underrated builder figure too. I, I like them a lot. Back. All right. This next package was from my man, Bob the Odd, a.k.a. Lunker Mouth. That's his uh, YouTube moniker. Bob the Odd is... Uh, his uh, Facebook name so um, he held a little quick contest uh, on his channel uh, and it was like just picking names random with that uh, the site that does that does that I forget the name of the site or whatever but I wanted to actually get a display piece from him for a little while now anyway um, and uh, I won <laughs> randomly my name just got picked so that was that was great I'm still probably going to purchase something from him as well too but this is a real nice uh, quick little easy piece that he did just a destroyed brick wall broken brick wall it's just styrofoam mad lightweight easy to ship but it looks great 
So I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. Big shout out to my man Bob the Ott. really like a couple of these three together. I still need to get another Iron Man and another Thor. These are the only one of each of those figures that I have. I do have two Bucky caps, but I don't know what's going on with uh, Hasbro's retail. It looks like the, the retail well is drying up. Uh, so, you know, Wave 2 is, is dwindling down. You could barely find Wave 1 at all anywhere right now. So I really don't know what's going on. We still in here, nothing for Wave 3 yet. Um, but I, I hope things uh, continue on the up and up. Try to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. You know, with Dave Vaughn or not, uh, with Hasbro anymore, this is something that I've talked about in the past couple of episodes. You know, I'm really concerned with the direction of, of Marvel Legends and if they're going to continue on the up and up or if things will go back to how they were when, when Hasbro first took over the line. I'm not 100% confident in uh, Dwight Stoll to, to run things by himself, honestly. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm reaching out to people to get them to, to really uh, get on board with this petition. I will link it. I linked it in, in last week's video. I'll link it in the underbar of this video, too, if you want to sign it. Read it over. Like I said, if you think it, it sounds good, if you think it's sound, then, then uh, you know, we would love to have your signature on it. So I took a little side break from shooting regular MTIT stuff because I finally, finally got um, solid scores for the last round of the tournament. I, I really didn't want it to go this long, and I know the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to the to the people in the tournament that we took so long to get everything situated, but fuck that, that was solid's fault. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I finally got his scores this round. Uh, you know, in the final round, I was trying to get um, Dave Vaughn and Jesse Falcon to help uh, judge the final round. But what, what had happened with Hasbro and everything, I didn't really want to ask Dave to, to do it. It wasn't like they had said no. They had both said yes from the beginning. But um, myself, you know, the regular judges that had already been judging all of the rounds just went ahead and scored the final round, too. I didn't even ask Jesse or, or, um, or Dave to, to do any scoring. But what I did do was ask them to uh, send a little clip just congratulating the winners and stuff. And uh, hopefully, that, I mean, I, I literally just did that, sent out messages to them. Uh, and hopefully I'll, I'll get that for the uh, for the video. And, you know, I set up this scene for one of the scenes for the video. But anyway, um, so I got the final scores. And what we did in this round was we uh, each judge scored every entry. So I, I got to score all five contestants. So did Solid, so did Trevor Harris, so did Action Figure Expert. And whatever our final score was for each individual artist, um, I added those four scores from each judge together and then divided by four to get the final um, score for that person. So all of the scores weren't like even scores. Some of them was like uh, 45 and a half or 46.25 or something like that or whatever the case may be. But I mean, it, uh, the way it worked out though was there was a clear uh, the winner. first like one person who I haven't mentioned yet. That first place slot is gonna. I'm about to fucking throw this camera out the window. A. Setting up another little quick scene for the tournament vid. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Just I try to get a bunch of people that have like smiling expressions or facial expressions and get them in the last scene. See Deadpool licking off the gun in the Big back. Big thank you to Action Figure Expert. I think that came out pretty good. Some graffiti up on my wall. Mess around with a little MSD. I'm showing you how you got to work hard for your pictures as well. But you know, at the right angle, kind of get something going here. Mess around with this a little bit. I don't really like how the shadows are on the back right now, but 
I'll get something going. Figure out something. So I showed this Spider-Man many, many episodes back in meantime in between time. Best three and three quarter inch Spider-Man in my opinion. This is the showdown Spider-Man. I mean, this guy's just like a mini Marvel legend. Just got him stuck to the wall with a little bit of wax. It works. It works well. It was a little harder to stick the uh, the larger six inch figure to the wall, obviously because of the weight. You know, this figure is virtually uh, weightless. Yes. Awesome. So yeah, man, gr really great figure. Um, like I said, the uh, cash and the prizes, the physical prizes, I can send out immediately. But the reason that the shirts and the stickers and the trophies and stuff is not ready yet is because I was actually looking at looking into getting glass um, trophies uh, of actually just having the ACBA logo as the as the trophy, like the the shape of the logo would be the trophy, but that shit <laughs> that shit is mega expensive and uh you know i was funding this this entire thing mostly mostly by myself i mean I, like i said i did get help from like 105 and ash rock and solid doing 100 bucks and i threw in 100 bucks but like you know i was mostly trying to trying to do this on my own and you know shit i got bills and shit to pay <laughs> so that shit was pretty expensive and then i started looking into uh acrylic um uh trophies but uh and uh but i wanted to try to break it up where i could get some for 2011 and then get some for 2012 so it'll all be situated and, and you know throw down the money at, at one time so i'm actually still trying to figure that out so this is why i said the trophies may take a while and the merchandise site for for acba is under maintenance right now i'm actually about to spend a couple of hundred dollars on fixing that up so it's, it's under maintenance and i'm totally out of shirts and stickers right now anyway um and so I'm just kind of procrastinating or waiting re really to order more shirts and stickers because I want the site to be up and then I want to throw a bunch of shirts and stickers to the winners for the for the contest. And it's just day to day, man. I just be having mad shit on my plate on a day to day basis. So, you know, I'm gonna definitely work it out uh, and, and figure this out as soon as possible. Also, uh, as always, I posted up all of the scores from this round and the uh, as a document. On, uh, in the ACBA Facebook group, it's, uh, it's listed as 2011 ACBA Tournament Round 5 Scores. Uh, so it's a complete listing of every judge's scores for each contestant. You can see the full breakdown and see how it was scored. And uh, I just spoke to my man Charles Dukes through text. He was super duper happy. Again, man, I'm mad happy for this dude, man. But uh, check that out. If you're not a part of the Facebook group, then, you know, that's one of the many perks uh, of being in the group. So get out there and join us. Just messing around with another MSD. I really, really like this, uh, the Marvel Universe, uh, Dark Spider-Man. Uh, I don't even know what the hell they labeled them. I guess they labeled them Venom, I don't know. I actually uh, never picked up the uh, the two pack that he came in. I had got this uh, loose. This is actually an FSP. It's not even my figure, but I really really like the look of of this figure, man. They did a really good job on, on that on that figure. And uh, this Spider Man is the uh, San Diego Comic Con Spider Man. Uh, what a different head. I don't like the the head that came originally with that figure. This is the figure. This is the head from the uh, what the heck is the name of that figure? It's the uh, Peter Parker Spider-Man, Spider-Man Classics line. Uh, it actually doesn't even really fit on there properly. You see the peg there is really, really thin. And that's a huge hole. But it'll sit on there just right. So that's cool. Okay, this has been another episode of Meantime in Between Time. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check the underbar for a link to all the ACBA-related venues, as well as a link to that petition for Dave Varner. Thanks again to my man Bob, a.k.a. Lunkermouth, for the display piece. I'll link his channel as well, and I will be showcasing quite a few different display pieces in the next coming episode. So look out for that, and until next week, y'all. Peace. That's crispy. We was clocking that block.